Oh man, okay. I just made the decision. It's quarter to one in the morning, so that kind of helped me make the decision. We're going to do a review of The Blacklist Season 7, Episodes 1 and 2 in this video. Because, let's be perfectly honest, Season 7, Episode 1, was kind of making me feel like, oh god, it's going to be another boring, dull season. We're not going to get nowhere. They're trying to get themselves canceled. I don't know. Maybe not. But it looks like they're doing everything they can to kill the show. Season 2, on the other hand, got really good. Ah, uh, episode 2 got really, really good. So I was kind of like, okay, maybe they're going to redeem themselves. So, we saw in the season finale, Red got abducted because Katarina. Okay, cool, and then they left us with a cliffhanger. Alright, got it. They usually leave us with cliffhangers on the season finale. And then, in season 7, the, the premiere, we find him in a hospital. Supposedly his back is broke. You know, he can't walk. And this French detective wants help. Well, we can't find out. That's all lies. That's all BS. I like the one line he used. Next time you're going to try to make me think my back is broke, you better break my back. And I kind of saw that whole thing going downhill. And him trying to befriend a nurse. And, you know, it was all so predictable. It was just like, oh, God, been here, done this a hundred times. They, they've lost their originality to show us through. Didn't get too much juicy information out of that. So, okay. What can you do? You have to suck it up and deal with it. So we do. And yeah, that was pretty much all I had to say about season 7's episode 1, the premiere. It was just like, really? <sighs> you on? And that, that was it. And season two. Uh, I keep saying season. Episode two. That's the moment we get to talk. That's where we got good stuff going on. We got the fact that we now know Katarina and Dom weren't the happy father-daughter. There's obviously some really bad blood between both sides. Okay, check that box. We got that down. They, they made that perfectly clear. We got a uh, triple double cross from Nurse. The one that in episode one Red was acting like he was winning over. Turns out the whole thing was a setup on Red in the entire time. And then she goes and helps Red break out and even removes the tracker out of his neck. I don't know what what it is with these writers and putting trackers in people's necks. I mean, you can put in an arm or something. I don't know. So you're like, oh man, that's cool. Okay. And then she flips again. After after she flipped, she flipped after Dembe handed her the card to get the money and the protection. So okay, that was interesting. And then they had a shootout, which they knew they couldn't win because Dom's guns were from like a generation or two ago. But they put up the good fight. And Elizabeth broke in. I love the fact, love the fact that um, Ray called Elizabeth out on her bullshit and told her that the reason your grandfather is dying in a lumberyard it's because you wouldn't stop asking your questions no matter what I told you. I love that. Told, she she needed to hear it. And then she goes back a few scenes later and says, I'm still in town. Damn, what's wrong with this girl? So annoying. Now we have the interesting plot of they're obviously going to be looking for Katarina. And she moved in right next door to Elizabeth. So that's going to be very interesting. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting because 
Katerina living right next door to Elizabeth now. The one question that was raised right there was I thought Harold was putting a security detail on Elizabeth's apartment. How did she sublease the apartment and they didn't realize what was happening? Like, why was Elizabeth blindsided by that? I, I just didn't understand it at all. Uh, the, like I, I discussed it. I, I, first of all, let me apologize. I had to pause the video because some people that are staying with us came home. Even though one o'clock in the morning, okay, they, they came back. And the dogs went nuts. And then they came down here and then I was recording and they wanted to start talking. So I had to pause the video. I apologize for that. Like I said, as you can see in the background, the office, everything's still kind of, you know, a work in progress. And can't do it during the day because then employees are going back and forth. So trying to work it out. We'll get it right. I'm going to finish this video, but I'm going to give you an apology also because you all deserve it. All right. So security detail is supposed to be watching Elizabeth's apartment. Obviously they ain't. Or they're not doing it very well. So we did we, we did find that that might be a, a, a hint that maybe Katarina has some inside connection to the FBI. I don't know. That could be a leap. But I just I, it struck me as odd. Like how did she get in there if Harold put a security detail on there? And then I would have expected that Red would have put his people on there because last time they were all up on the door frame guarding the apartment so that was a little interesting as I spoke about in the first part of this video we did uh, learn that Dominic and Katarina were not on the best of terms I thought that was interesting because if you remember when Red went to visit Dom when he thought Elizabeth was dead Dominic acted like him and Katarina had this great relationship and, you know, everything was peaches and cream. And now we come to find out that's not the case at all. So I found that very interesting. We learned also that Katarina is in fear for her life because she believes assassins are after her. Well, we know she's always been hunted. And the only reason the hunters weren't hunting was because they thought she was dead, and Elizabeth kept blabbing. But it'll be very interesting to see who the hunters are. Are they? Is it the U.S. government trying to assassinate her? Is it the Russian trying to assassinate? No, exactly who is trying to assassinate her? It left us a couple of big gaping questions, such as what has she done? to earn money. We know Red, he became a he, he became the concierge of crime. You know, he makes, you know, mad bank. But, but what it did the thing really tell us much what's been going on with her. You know. I didn't get it. So that was interesting. I am really, really, really praying that they don't kill Dom off. I enjoy Dom. He is funny. Especially when him and Ray get to argue. So there's that. Now, are they going to make us endure all of season 7 with Elizabeth talking about, I'm one in because I deserve it, because I'm really getting tired of hearing that. They're, they're, that's getting so played. She, she needs to grow up. Big girl now. So, I did enjoy episode 2 of season 7. And I feel like they've given us back the blacklist that we all know and love. And that is awesome. Because season 6 from episode 1 to episode 22 was a shit show. And season 7, episode 1, the premiere, was very slow, very boring. So... I, I loved, you know, they put in the famous blacklist twist that you never seen with the nurse. First she thought she was flipping on Katarina, then she was flipping on Red, then she flipped on Katarina. 
I like that. I did not see that coming. I really didn't. So, that was awesome. And I loved the George Ghost scam. George Host, I should say. And then, you know, you say G Host, Ghost. I thought that was cool. I really thought he killed himself. I was like, he took himself out like a trooper. I did wonder, was Rustler not, he was smart enough to kick the gun away. Was he not competent enough to check a pulse to see if this guy was really dead? And I only say, was he not competent enough to check a pulse because I don't believe that they would have Rustler be a turncoat. He's too straight-laced. That's been like the fabric of his entire character. So, that that kind of was a little sketchy. And, like I said before, I love the fact that Red told Elizabeth off. She needs to hear it once and for all. And stop being coddled like she's a, a damn child because she's a grown woman. And 2, though, 2 is really good. And the way they ended it with I can't with Katarina thinking I can't get to Red, I can't get to Dominic. I'm gonna go straight for Elizabeth, aka Masha, and then it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. So yeah, we I I believe I'm praying that there's gonna be a lot more juicy details about the past that are gonna come out. I mean, it has to be, right? Because we got Katarina herself in, involved. Uh, apparently, though, apparently Katarina is not calling the shots. She's reporting to someone else. So who is she working for? Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe a uh, certain rich, I won't say his name, let y'all guess. You can put it down there in the comments. Maybe a certain uh, rich Russian made his money in oil, kind of disappeared on us unexpectedly, was going to kill Red until he got whispered in the ear and then just took off. Yeah, if you think you know who I'm talking about, comment his name down below. But I told you guys, before I, before I took my seven-month hiatus, I told y'all he was coming back. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be him and Katarina going up against Red and Elizabeth. And if that happens, it's going to get all kinds of crazy. Oh, yeah. That, that, that would be some good writing right there. So, yeah. I mean, episode two, season seven, totally redeemed me. They still haven't given us much tidbits, you know, because they were going through the whole, they just got Red back, Red was all messed up from them draining his blood, which I thought that was an interesting form of torture. You know, it was like, it was really well done. Really, really well done. And re redeemed my faith in the show that I've loved for the last six years that we all have been talking about, arguing about, discussing about, theorizing about, you name it, we've been going back and forth for six years. Some of you haven't been there that long. Some of you were there in the beginning and are going now. You know, but six years at the heart were all Blacklist fans. And they, 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 they were kind of dropping the ball. I mean, comment below. Am I right or am I wrong? Was season six not the worst season yet? Come on. It, it was terrible. And then Jennifer just got chipped off the Long Island. It's like, Really? You put us through all that, and then you just write the character out by saying she went to Long Island to live with her friend because she can't handle it. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. So, yeah. I'm excited for season three. Uh, season three, God. I, I might have to do these earlier because I'm tired. I'm excited for episode three. I think it's going to have a lot, a lot of action. I haven't watched the trailers or nothing. I want no spoilers. I want this to be just like as if I just watched it. Because i tell you the truth, I did. I recorded them on DVR, and when I got home tonight, I watched them. And the first one was like, I was like, oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. 
don't don't do this to me. Don't kill my show. And then boom Episode two was like holy crap, this is good. So yeah, I didn't pick up any tidbits in this one. I will be watching it again. You know, I always watch... Like, I'll watch episode 2 a second time right before episode 3 is set to air. Or when I get home and I'm about to play episode 3, I will watch episode 2 again. I always do. So, this way, if I missed anything, i catch it the second time around, I hope. And I know you guys, boy, you're Johnny on the spot to point out, Yo, you missed this. Go back and look. And I go back, and I do. I go back, and I look, and I go, holy crap, you're right. And y'all change my mind sometimes, and sometimes we just have to have a 10,000 paragraph comment discussion back and forth for the world to watch as we hash it out. And sometimes I stand by my guns, and sometimes I go, damn, they're right. And y'all know, if y'all change my mind, if I say, damn, they're right, I do shout you out on the channel, so... If you don't want to be shouted out on the channel, you can just, you know, put in the comments, you know, no need to shout out or whatever you want to say. You know, otherwise I won't put your name out there too. Because it's what it's all about. And I'm, I'm going to call it right now because we're still early, alright? I'm going to say that that is in fact Katarina Rosova. It's not some imposter playing the game. I'm going to say that that is, in fact, Raymond Reddington and the skeleton of someone else. I'm still thinking that it might be either an uncle or a brother or somebody like that, or it might even be that little eye guy, the, the guy that they thought Red was, you know, based on Dominic's bullshit story, because that, that, that was clearly a bullshit story from what I'm gathering. So, yeah. I mean, next Friday ought to be slamming good. So I can't wait to see that. And that's what I got so far. I really enjoyed myself. It was like the old days of the blacklist. I was like, yeah, finally, some good stuff. And tomorrow night, I will watch The Walking Dead, because that's the new show I'm into. I mentioned that in my... uh my channel update, and I will do my first ever review of The Walking Dead, but I'm going to do a review of this entire season, which is like two episodes in, just to catch up. I'm not going to go back to the old stuff, because y'all could take me to school about the old stuff. I've been watched it one time, but let me know if that interests you. Comment below. Tell me, hey, don't waste your time. Just enjoy your show. And we'll see you for the blacklist. And some point this week, I just want to make sure I have all the people and the, the, the regions and everything right. I do want to do a complete review, maybe a 15, 25 minute, something like that, review of Game of Thrones, my opinions, my thoughts. Because I'm just going to say, for now, and save it for that video. And that's going to be that. So, yeah, I really did enjoy this. People are not, people are already telling me you guys are so fucking great, man. You're, you guys are awesome. I'm going to get in trouble for cursing just now. 50 years old and YouTube's going to spank me for the cursing. But you guys are already commenting me to watch the digital exclusive content and stuff. And I will watch it tomorrow. And if it's really juicy stuff, I will most definitely review and comment on what that is. Because people tell me, oh, you gotta see, you gotta see. I gotta see it, I gotta see it. I go, I go watch it. And that, that's what I love is, you know, I'm giving my reviews, which are just my opinions. I, I don't work for the show or nothing, it's just my opinions, and we converse back and forth. And, you know, it's like I've always said, we talk about anything, I don't care. Comment below whatever you want. Ask me how the weather is here. I'll ask you how the weather is there. I'll answer you. You answer me. It's a conversation about the weather. I don't care. But I I can't take haters, can't take bullies, and I sure can't take haters on the people who are commenting on my videos. 
So if you're going to jump in the comments and hate on everybody in there, I'm just going to block you. And I've always said that from day one. And thank God we 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 got a we got a great group here that just you know blacklist fans. And I tried to watch Boston Legal, but I couldn't find it. It was without paying Amazon like a fortune. So that was out. Everybody told me I would enjoy that though. And I I'm enjoying the Walking Dead, so I'll be doing those videos. I hope you'll watch those reviews too. And give me some insight, because I'm really into that show. So, you know, I can learn from that one, because I watched everything one time, and I watched it boom, 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 boom. And if you're a Walking Dead fan, you know that's a lot. But the red thing, the, I'm going to leave you with this final thought, because this is maybe the one thing that I did pick up, is I'm wondering if the writers are getting close to the end of the story. I mean, think about it. any way they go from this point on, it plays out bad. If Katarina kills Red, Elizabeth automatically will hate Katarina. Because she, you know, likes Red. She thinks Red is this great guy that did her a favor. Well, imagine if she finds out that that's her actual father. Okay, so that's bad. If Red kills Katarina, then in Elizabeth's mind, both her mother and father are dead because of this guy. You know, so, so I'm wondering, you know, how's this going to play out? And I don't believe, I don't believe they can really do a Red and Katarina reunion and we end up with the two of them together. I don't see that's going to work out either. So I'm wondering if the writers aren't writing themselves into an ending. Are writing themselves into a ridiculous storyline where they just have to bail out with something lame, which would be disappointing too, because right now they have to, they have a chance to do something really really good or god awful bad. It's going <laughs> there's there's going to be no no middle section. It's going to be really good, really bad, not okay. Okay does not exist in this this scenario. What are you guys' thoughts? So, all right, like I always tell you, into my next one. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe. I know that's a lot to ask me, and I just come back from disappeared for seven months, and I apologize to the end of time for that. But I'm back. I'm going to be keeping the videos, keeping my words to you guys, trying to put out new content. Like I said, hodgepodge, whatever you like. But Blacklist, as long as it continues to air, is always going to be my primary focus. Always. Because I'm six years vested deep into this show. Watched every episode at least ten times. At least. Minimum. So yeah. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.